But if you haven't, ask around. Ask your friends. They will, some of them will tell you that during that very intensity of giving birth, they went into this place. Yeah? Katie, you're nodding your head, so you must, you must, I, I will unmute you in a moment after I'm done and we talk about it. So there's different ways, or you, let's say you are an athlete or you're running and you go into the zone and you lose yourself into the act of running and you become one with your shoes, you become one with the road. And then all of a sudden you're in this blissful state, place. Running is happening, but you're not doing it. Some of you like music, musicians, you're playing music. That happens to a lot of artists. You're singing or you're playing an instrument and you lose yourself into the instrument, the music and the sound, you lose your sense of separation into the oneness. You dive into your fifth dimensional presence and beautiful music starts to be produced, expressed, but no one is doing it. You're no longer playing your mu instrument because you become one with your instrument and the sound. You lose yourself. Or let's say you're painting, you're drawing. I've talked to many people who draw and paint. Four hours go by, all of a sudden they don't know. Four hours went by and they produced this beautiful piece of art and they have no idea how it happened. because they dissolve, they go beyond the mind into the field, the unified field of oneness, into that. So, to sum it up, we're all multidimensional beings. We all have one foot in fifth dimension as well as third dimension and other places. And of course, dark dimensions, you have access to all of them because you are all of them. Yeah. Katie, yeah. <laughs> tell me. Yeah, but with um, my daughter, uh, Gosh, it's like 35. She's going to be 35 in um, December. Um, I had a really difficult, uh, you know, delivery, C-section, emergency. And my, thank God my mom was there with me in the operating room. And I, of course, I was cracking jokes and they're giving me all these crazy stuff. But they put me under um, to, to get my daughter out. Um, and I just remember um, just the total silence of with the pain and everything. And it's like my body just kind of lifted out of, you know, my spirit just lifted out. And I'm just like seeing all this stuff. But mm. you know what I mean? And, and then I went back and I thought I was going to lose her, my daughter. Um, you know, she wasn't breathing and I'm just going, you know, God just, you know, you could take me, but don't take my daughter. See what I mean? And I'm just, um, just saying that and saying that. And then they finally got her breathing. And then I went right. back into my body. Okay. But um, so, but you had a glimpse and a I period had, that you went into this pure silence. That. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Through the pain, you know, the, right. the pain left. And the, I'm yeah. Just, right. You know, 
And with the running, I was a runner and did sports and soccer, actually. And when I get on the field, I'm one, you know, with running. And it's just like I'm in another place and time. And with sports, especially, and and paint, you know, I'm a, you know, I draw. And like you say, time just flies when you're in that God space. That's yes. Still, yeah. Yeah, you're you are beyond time and space. Yeah, you just kind of, you know, and yeah. then you uh, come back. Yeah, yeah. It, it, everything gets drawn. You you become much bigger than all of it. it. It's like a like a expansion, like you were saying, for a time and it's in in this dimension or space, and then it just comes right back when. And with the music too, I play my dulcimer, you know, like a harp, and I get in. It's almost you get in a groove, like people, you know, musicians, everybody. Oh, we get in a groove. Well, the groove is, like you said, the higher dimension, and it just you're one with God and the divine, and it just kind of it's just messages coming in to play, you know, or paint or sports or run or, you know. Like I say, just listen and it will, you know, just let it go. You have to let go. Beautiful. Thank, thank you for sharing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Miss Susanna. Questions? I didn't, but I want to say something anyway. Please. I, uh, after that, but, uh, what you were talking today about, one has to ask, what's the purpose of all of it, right? Um, did, so, did I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's just like, uh, you coming to this question, what is the purpose of the life then? Uh, because if you need to come back to what you came from, so why you need to be trapped in it, right? And this may be, can be another topic for another, uh, Wednesday. But this is what I was thinking about. Yeah. Why to just be bothered? So, you know? Well, uh, not that I yeah. will be suicidal, but some people can be, uh, you know, just tired of all of it. Like, why I need to be just, uh, you know, in this, in this, and not to just check out earlier. Right. Know? Well, I mean, it's like Holy Hotel California. <laughs> you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Yeah, where I'm going then? Why I need to come to this, you know, brother, um, like, uh, what do why, why, why are you here on this planet? Why do you have to come to this life? Yeah, why? To suffer, right? I don't believe that this is the... I'm, no, I'm just repeating what you're saying so my audience can understand your question. So I'm just kind of... No, I'm just saying why we need to come back to that if we're already coming from something, what is what we need to... Oh, okay. Why why do we have to go back to fifth dimension if we're coming from fifth dimension, right? Yeah, so what's the meaning then in between, right. yeah? Right, exactly. That, that was kind of good. What's the meaning in between? It was kind of like an Italian saying. <laughs> what's yeah. the meaning in between? <laughs> <laughs> then what <why? laughs> Right. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. That's a very, very valid question. I was six or seven years old when I was asking that question. Yeah, me too. I, I didn't wondering. get the answer. 